I'd like to begin by thanking all of the members of the Senate Judiciary Committee for considering my nomination. In particular, I'd like to thank uh, Chairman Grassley, Ranking, Man Ranking Member Leahy, for holding the hearing today. Thank you, Senator Graham, for presiding today. I'd also like to express my gratitude to the President for nominating me to this position. Thank you, Senator Heitkamp and Senator Hoven, for their bipartisan support of my nomination and their kind and warm remarks. I have no opening statement, but uh, just briefly introduce uh, my family again and give you a little information about them. Again, uh, my husband with me today, my husband, Jacob Poole. Jacob is a teacher in Fargo, North Dakota. Uh, we also have with us our three children, Isabel, who is age 13, Julia, age 11, and Owen, age 8. I'm very proud uh, to have, me, have with me here today my parents, Jay and Jeannie Clementsrud of Devil's Lake, North Dakota, and my mother-in-law, Dr. Susan Poole uh, from Iowa City, Iowa. I have three older brothers, one of whom, uh, as Senator Hoven mentioned, has joined uh, us today, Eric Clementsrud and his wife Amanda and their three children. I'd also like to thank my dearest friend, Tracy Sandoval, who traveled from Minneapolis, Minnesota to be here with me today. Unexpectedly, I might add. Not with uh, me here today, but uh, I'd like to recognize our former United States Attorneys, Drew Wrigley and Tim Purden for their continued support of my nomination. As well as former uh, North Dakota Supreme Court Justice, Mary Mullen Maring. I'd like to thank her for her continued encouragement and counsel uh, throughout uh, this process, uh, as well as my entire legal career. And finally, I would like to thank my friends and colleagues at the United States Attorney's Office in North Dakota who are watching this hearing uh, via webcast today. Working with this dedicated group of attorneys and staff has been the greatest privilege and uh, is the, uh, the most rewarding experience of my prof professional career. With that, I'm happy to answer your questions.